So today in this video, I'm going to bring you a complete guide on how you can upgrade that gear, make it more powerful, add traits, this, that, and the other. Stay tuned. So upgrading your gear, making your wizard, your witch more powerful is a must to the player. And today I will explain all. But hey, now I have your attention, guys. If you do enjoy this video, leaving a like really helps me out. And if you like what you see and want to see more Hogwarts, be sure to subscribe. Okay, so to do this, guys, you need to have the enchanted loom unlocked. This means you need to have the room of requirement unlocked. And this whole process takes place by you completing and progressing through the main story quest lines. You will eventually come to a quest line called the Elf, the Knapsack, and the Loom. This is for Deke, where he sends you out into the open world. Actually, I believe he comes with you. And he uh, asks you to capture those magical beasts, those beautiful beasts with the knapsack. You can see the knapsack I have there applied to my spell wheel, to the X. But hey, this is what you do. You go out into the world, you capture these beautiful beasts uh, for this dude because obviously he's scared of those poachers. So once you complete this uh, part of the quest guide, you'll come back to the room of requirement, which you will have already had open by this point, And then he will unlock the vivarium for you. If you keep progressing this quest guys, it will showcase to you guys how you can release those captured beasts into your own vivarium and then use them uh, to the, for those materials, materials you'll use to upgrade your gear. So yes, complete, the, uh, well just progress through the game until you get the elf, the knapsack and the loom quest line for Deke. Uh, once you've done this guys, you'll have that loom unlocked. So this is it. This is that, this is where we upgrade. So coming to the loom guys, you can see right here, uh, greens you can't upgrade by the way uh, but you can see we have blues we have purples and we have oranges we have superbs we have extraordinaries and we have those legendaries now there's different things you can do to different ones of these so we'll start with the blues a blue you can only apply level one traits to them and, and if we look here guys we can see these well you'll see your discovered level one traits right here now to apply one of these traits you require a certain uh ingredient this one right here requires puff skin fur. Now, this is important to note. Uh, beasts which you will want to capture uh, are very important to upgrading. And I will put a guide in the video description, or it will be on my channel anyway, where I'll showcase to you guys where you can go out and capture every beast in the game, bring them back to your vivarium, raise them properly, and you'll get these materials. So yes, that's a, a must. That's very, very important. These materials... Uh, are requirements to upgrade, add traits, and everything you want to do to make yourself more powerful. So yes, beasts are important. But you can see here, um, I could weave this trait and I can add this then to my uh, thingy. So I'll do this. So if I add it, there we go. You can see right now, guys, that I have the trait. Goblin Silver Resistance 1. Simple. Well, these are only, you can only add level 1 traits to blues. To legendary, I mean to extraordinaries, uh, purples, you can apply both uh, discovered traits that are level one and level two discovered traits. Simple. You, you, you get the gist, guys. Uh, level three traits, as you can see here, I cannot apply this to a purple. Cannot apply it to a blue either. These can only be applied to those legendaries. These are the only things, the only armor pieces you can apply legendary traits to. But don't worry, you can apply level 2s and level 1s to legendaries too if you want to. So yes, but these all, like I said, will require those specific uh, ingredients. Uh, a lot of these are nasal furs. Uh, Nasals are those cute little cats. Again, guide to every beast you'll find, link down below and on my channel. But yeah, it's not too hard when you, once you get the understanding for it, if I'm honest with you. It's all just, just uh, trial and error. But hey, you can also upgrade these gear pieces, applying defense to them. As you can see here, I did it to this one. I applied uh, a fence to this one. Um, but you can see these have no offense whatsoever, no upgrades applied. And to do this, guys, you simply just tap. It will be X on Xbox and Square on PlayStation. Uh, tap that and you can see you need a certain requirement to upgrade this you can upgrade its offense. It's got no offense, so you can upgrade its offense. Uh, and, and and said so. It's it's simple. Some of them are defense. Some of them are offense. It's quite easy, guys. It's it's actually a simple system once you get the hang of it. The main part about this whole system is getting those beasts to uh, to have the materials to do this because without them, you ain't going to be able to upgrade absolutely anything. 
But yeah, guys, that's the system, really. You can upgrade, you can view traits, add, apply traits, make yourself more powerful. But I will, I'll, you know what? What I'd say is I wouldn't bother with this until you're a much higher level because a lot of this gear piece, I don't, you're just going to, you're going to get so much gear dropping. I think applying it to early stages gear, I think it's a waste of time. It's a waste of materials. I really do. I'd wait until you get end game much, much higher because I ain't even doing this. I'm, I literally just applied these traits and leveled these up just for the purposes of this video because I know for an absolute fact I'm just going to get better stuff anyway as I level up and progress the game but hey it's up to you how you use this it's up to you how you abuse this but hey it's just this guide's here for those wondering so yes what's very important is for you go out get those beasts bring them back to Vivarium breed them if you want to uh, groom them uh, get those materials use those materials to upgrade your gear and you can add, apply traits to these and again upgrade the defense and offense as far as I'm aware, I don't think there's any method in leveling that gear up. I just don't think you can. So you can see this is a level 21, this is a level 23, level 20. I don't think there's any way of actually leveling this gear up. Hence why I said it's probably best you don't mess around with this until you get much, much higher gear. Because it's just a waste of time in my opinion. But hey, it is what it is and you use it how you choose. But there we have it guys. That is how you upgrade and make yourself more powerful. Guys, if you enjoyed the video, leaving a like, it really helps out. If you like what you see and want to see more Hogwarts, be sure to subscribe. And hopefully guys, I will see you on that next one.